Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, it's been a week or and a bit. I'm very much enjoying some Long Golden Flake by Rainer, which is this one. Uh, it comes in these funny little paint tins. Um, it's a little bit of white burley, some perique, and um, excellent, excellent Virginias. And they come in these long old flakes um, that uh, do fall apart extremely easily. If you can see it coiled around there like a snake. They, um, yeah, they just fall apart. But they're very, very nice, very Moorish. So that's going to be, um, <clears throat> well, I've got another tin of that, so I don't mind about finishing that. Um, I made a promise to myself not to open any more tins of tobacco, because I've got bags of tobacco and samples and things people have given me. Um, and I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> but there we go. I was asked about... Um, this is a... I can't remember if I've said it or not. Castello Rock Briar. Made by Carlo Scotti in Italy. Beautiful, beautiful pipe. I love the rustication on this. It's, um, it's like it has been churned through the sea. And uh, it's really knobbly and uh, very tactile. Beautifully detailed. Um, you probably can't read the, uh, the. Yeah, you can. Carlo Scotti, Italy. You might be able to read it anyway. But yeah, everything about it is absolutely perfect. Um, <clears throat> if you can get one, I suggest. Yeah, buying one. They're they're beautiful. Um, I got a lovely message about um, teeth chatter, and I don't know if you probably do know what that is. On the stem, if you bite. On here you do get indentations on the stem I use well I used to use electrical tape but I've started using this now for a little while which is a heat shrink it's like a plastic you cut off a little bit perhaps about that much that much put it on your stem and heat it up with your lighter very very gently and you end up getting a finish like that, which is really close to the to the stem, and um, you alleviate teeth chatter on here. I can't use softy bits. I just I don't get on with them at all. So that is the best thing I've I've found and used so far. That's delicious. Now, last week, or maybe two weeks ago, I um, started pressing my tobacco, if you remember. If you haven't watched the video, then um, you, you, you won't know. <laughs> Here's the press um, down there. It's a six-ton hydraulic jack um, with a rod in the middle. Yep. It's actually a car shop press for car parts, but there we go, it's got many uses. I use this, which is um, a steel um, hollow square, and then either side I put a piece of wood. So that goes in that side, and I've got another one for the other side. And then I press it. So the tobacco goes in, that goes on top, and you press it down, and you end up with <coughs> a nice pressed plug, which I've got here. I've just brought it out, and it took considerable effort to get it out because it was so tightly compacted. This is the plug of tobacco that I pressed the other week. I tell you what, it's absolutely, if you can hear that. It's rock solid. It's absolutely solid. It's got a nice sheen to it as well. That was the side 
where the wood was and the wood's pressed on top of it. This duller side is the part where it was against the steel. <clears throat> I'm not sure why that is, but um, you know, there we go. So I'm very, very pleased with it. I just it smells wonderful. It's uh, my own mixture, Virginia's Perique, little tiny bit of Perique and small bit of Latakia, little bit of Burley, and I put a good glug of whiskey, Scotch whiskey, into the mixture, mixed it all up, and then put it in the press. And uh, I have to say, it's excellent. It's really come out exactly how I wanted it. I didn't want another crumble cake. Um, I've, I've done that many times. And what I use for that is <coughs> these steel bars and I push the mixture together gently and leave it for, you know, two, three weeks. And then it just crumbles nicely, but I wanted something a bit more sturdy. And this has really uh, worked out very well. Solid block, about, I don't know, 60 grams, maybe slightly more. Um of my own tobacco so super chuffed with that um, I think it looks great it smells superb I'm gonna leave it now for probably I don't know maybe a month um, what are we in now May so maybe June I'm gonna start slicing this and I'm gonna have a few bowls I'll tell you what it's like in June but yeah oh it smells superb I definitely recommend if you want to get a noodle press or um, I mean my press is, is a bit over the top really if I'm honest um, but yeah get yourself a noodle press keep it really pressed down tight over the you know maybe a month and you might you probably won't get something like this but you'll certainly get something that resembles a plug tobacco uh, super chuffed with it so I hope everyone's really well thank you for your message um everybody and um new subscribers and yeah we're well over a thousand now um I'm, i don't know why but uh, i appreciate you all uh subscribing and um i've got some more of this uh Rattray's exotic passion for the summer i really do like it um what else have i got coming the sounds of pulp crow hasn't arrived yet that's coming from tobacco pipes um yeah it's been it's been about a week now and um it's not in the UK yet so I, you know it doesn't matter it will get here um it's still on its way it's up in the air <laughs> um i noticed a few people had trouble in the UK bringing tobacco over and things things are getting tighter like we knew they would um keep your orders small uh, I'm not going to say much more. PM me or you know mess message me on Facebook and things like that if you want to know <coughs> the um, the way to go about that. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more. Uh, dipping tobacco wise, I'm still dipping uh, Skull and uh, Stokers, but we can't. You know I can't get it from the Northerner anymore, which is a real pain. Um, my friend Ron very kindly said he you know get some for me. I think I'll have to go down that route at some point, but I'm not quite empty. I'm, you know, I've got a little bit left. Um, but I, I do still dip um, daily, you know, three, four times a day I'm, I'm dipping, especially at work. It's just very, very convenient. I saw lots of good pictures and uh, people flying out to the Chicago um, pipe show, which is probably, the, well, it is it's the biggest in the world, I would have thought. Um, very jealous um, yeah I just hope everyone has a wonderful time there really looking forward to seeing people's pictures and what they've acquired uh, they always <laughs> some people spend a lot of money in Chicago and um, I have a wonderful time guys stay safe the UK show is uh, upon us too and um, I hope you're all well Thanks for your messages, and I'll probably be back next week with maybe something a bit different. Uh, who knows? Thanks for watching, and all the very best. Cheers.